I'm Carla Pastotnik of Carla Pastotnik Racing. This is Rob Chu of Chewworks. Hello. In this new series, we will be showcasing product installations. We'll be doing some product testing and we'll even be doing some high performance driving instruction. Today, we're gonna to show you how to prep the car for the track. We're gonna be using this GT Channel S2000 to show you how to change the motor oil, transmission oil, and the differential oil. And also, we're gonna be bleeding the brakes and the clutch fluid. So working on any vehicle that has a differential on a rear wheel drive vehicle, obviously, uh, you want to remove the fill bolt before removing the drain bolt. And the reason for that is if the fill bolt is stripped or can't be removed, you do not want to drain the differential at all because once you drain the differential, there's no way to get that fluid back into the vehicle. So always remove the fill bolt first and then the drain. So after removing the drain bolt, you want to inspect it. Most of the times, the drain bolt is magnetic, so it catches anything, metal particles that might be in the differential, and it's a good time to inspect it to make sure there's no excessive metal debris on there. There is, there's probably something wrong with your differential. And also, besides um, that, you want to replace the crush washer. It's a one-time use crush washer, so the crush washers are fairly inexpensive. You could probably pick them up for 30 cents to a dollar, so it's always a good thing to replace these. So after letting all the fluid drain out, we're just going to put the bolt back in and tighten it down. And we'll leave the fill bolt open so that we can put the new diff fluid back in. So now that we have the drain bolt back on the differential, we need to put the fluid back in, obviously. And we need to use a fluid transfer pump for that. Uh, right here, you see that I'm holding right now is about $90. It's a mechanically driven one that uses a drill or air pneumatic ratchet, but you could purchase one that are a little bit cheaper, obviously, for like five to $10. And we will be using Motul Gear 300 for the differential fluid. On the Honda S2000, it takes 75W90. So now we're gonna be working on the transmission, and same with the differential, there's a drain and a fill. The fill's here and the drain's here. Um, obviously, again, you wanna remove the fill bolt before you remove the drain bolt. Mm. Since this car will be under extreme conditions at the track, Motul recommends to also use Gear 300 in the transmission as well. Now that the differential fluid and transmission fluid are complete, now we'll be doing the engine oil. So loosen the drain bolt. So now we're gonna remove the oil filter using a basic oil filter wrench and just loosen it just a little bit before using my hand to remove the rest of it. So what we're gonna be doing now is gonna be reinstalling a new oil filter on the vehicle. There's an oil ring right here that you wanna put a little bit of oil on, some new oil on it and just grease it up a little bit. Luckily this one had already been pre-greased from the factory so we don't need to add any more oil. So we will also be using Motul for the engine oil. Uh, this is 300V. So what we're gonna be doing now is removing the brake fluid from the master cylinder. And what we're gonna be using is a basic syringe to remove the fluid out of the system. And the purpose of that is to prevent the new fluid from mixing with the old fluid. So we're gonna be using this Motul RBF 600 back in the vehicle and we wanna fill it back up to the rim. And then once it's full, we're gonna actually bleed the brakes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to remove the wheels to access the bleeder screw. So when bleeding the brake system, you wanna work from the furthest away from the master cylinder first. And for this vehicle, it would be the passenger side rear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the valve and have Carlo pump the system until we get new fluid coming out of the bottle. Once new brake fluid comes through the system, you know this side of the brake system is okay. So you want to move to the next side, which would be the driver's side rear, which is the next furthest away from the master cylinder. Once that's complete, you want to do the passenger side front and the driver's side front. So now we're going to move on to the clutch master cylinder. Similar to brake fluid, we want to remove all the fluid from the clutch master to minimize the mixing with the new fluid. So clutch fluid is basically brake fluid, so we're going to be using the same RBF 600 fluid in the clutch system. So 
So now we're gonna be bleeding the clutch slave cylinder. And similar to the brake fluid, there's a little nipple right here that you bleed the fluid out of. And what Carla's gonna be doing up there, she's gonna be pumping the system, and then once she holds the clutch pedal down, I'm gonna open the valve. And that's it. And you just repeat that process several times until you see new fluid coming out of the system. So we just completed the five basic things that you should do before hitting the track. This car is ready to go. Leave us a comment in the comments section for what other types of videos you guys would like to see. Thank you for watching our first episode of Track Life and we will see you guys in the future for our next episode. Thanks a lot guys. Oh. Wait, I wasn't ready, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Bro, your job is to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> you just supposed to stand there and look pretty, you look Rob. Pretty? Come on. Oh, no, I can be right now. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. okay. In this new series, we'll be showcasing performance. <laughs> 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 As per Motul's recommendation, we will also be using their Gear 300 in the transmission uh, due to the temperature variances uh, capability of the fluid. And that didn't make any sense. <laughs> in, the in the vehicle. So we just performed the five basic things that you guys should do before hitting the track. Let us know in the comment section what you guys would like to see next. And we will see you soon for our next episode of Track Wise. <laughs>